One important point to be aware of is the sheer scale of offshore wind farms. To put this into context, some of the larger sites are equivalent in size to an area as large as Greater London. Add the export cable, which stretch in some cases up to 150 kilometres, and you can extend this from London to Southampton as an example. This means that when it comes to planning and developing, there's an enormous amount of data that needs to be collected and analysed at each phase of the development. The first phase assesses the feasibility of a project. Before we take a vessel onto site, we collect and analyse any publicly available data and information we have stored in our records and archives. We of course don't share confidential client information, but we are able to use the knowledge gained from previous projects and apply these to learning for future developments. The second phase includes meta-ocean data collection, including wind resource measurements as well as geological and environmental analyses. Marine data boys developed by Fugro in the 1980s have been modified to ensure reliable wind resource data is collected using LiDAR technology, in addition to the met ocean parameters required for site assessment and structural design. Geophysical and geotechnical data is collected by a range of sensors and sampling equipment, which is followed by a program of laboratory testing to determine the engineering properties of the seabed. Data is collected initially to assess the regional site conditions this is later followed by turbine location and cable route specific surveys. The data itself is collected in phases over a period of between eight to 10 years before the wind farm becomes even operational. Fugro offers a range of vessels for the geophysical and geotechnical surveys based upon client needs and site conditions. In many cases, multiple vessels are often used concurrently to reduce the project schedule. Early planning of survey schedules is critical to ensure vessel resources are available. Each phase of data collection needs time to process and analyse and plan for the next stage of project development. In the early years, clients need information for environmental consenting and permitting. This is followed by the need to obtain information for engineering design and installation studies. The collected data is added to a site ground model. As the project develops, the clarity of the model improves so that project risks associated with site conditions can be mitigated. There is no doubt that the summer months in either hemisphere are preferable when it comes to physically collecting the data as it's less likely that progress will be halted by adverse weather conditions. However, with the development of autonomous and machine learning technologies Data acquisition is evolving to ensure that data can be collected in less favourable weather. Data quality can also be impacted by sea state and the health and safety risks offshore are increased when weather is poor. At Fugro, we're doing an increasing amount of work using technologies such as unproved surface vessels and machine learning for ocean data collection. These USVs are available for marine data collection and in the future will also be used for asset inspection. With increased technological integration, concerns like weather restrictions are becoming less and less of an issue, with technology mitigating the need for so much downtime.